Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Hockreiner. Today's story is Oracle's critical patch update. Oracle has their critical security patch update only quarterly, four times a year, which means when they do release patches, it's tons and tons of security updates at once. Last week, Oracle released their big quarterly patch update for the third quarter of 2018. And it's too big to go over all of it in detail, but do know if you use any of Oracle's software, including things like their eBusiness Suite, Oracle database servers, or MySQL, Sun Microsystems, Java, uh, their PeopleSoft software and productivity tools. If you use any of those Oracle products, there's probably some patches you have to go get. Overall, this update fixes over 301 different vulnerabilities in a wide array of Oracle software and products. More importantly, about 48 of the vulnerabilities have a very high severity rating. If you go by the Common Vulnerability Scoring System, or CVSS, 48 have a 9.8 rating out of 10, which essentially means it's pretty easy for remote attackers to exploit these, often to execute code. So long story short, if you're an Oracle customer, especially of things like their database servers, Java, which is very common, you definitely want to go and get the updates. I'll be sure to post a link to one of my favorite write-ups on it from ZDNet, as well as links to all the CPU pages where you can find out how to get updates for various software. Anyways, while today's story wasn't really interesting or newsworthy from an InfoSec perspective, patching is really the most practical thing you can do to improve your security. So if you have Oracle software, go patch. By the way, I wanted to add a little non-security thing to this video, which I'll be talking about more in the next coming weeks. In a few weeks, I'm going to be doing an event called Extra Life. And this is really a video and tabletop gamer event that is for a good cause, where gamers go out and try to get people to donate to them playing games for 24 hours, and 100% of the donations go to helping kids in children's hospitals, specifically the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Later, I'll do a longer video about this particular event and why I personally believe in it, but I really want to get the word out there a little earlier. In the blog post associated with this video, I'm going to be putting a link to my Extra Life page as well as uh, my team's page. My company WatchGuard is actually doing the event as an entire team. I don't often use my video platform for anything other than InfoSec education, but I believe this is a really good cause. So if you have the means to donate, I highly recommend you check out my page in this event. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.